Okay, so the last energy sphere in stage 5 of level 4 is in this dark section behind this wall here. And if you don't have the fire ability, then don't worry, just throw the candle. It's just as good. But I do have the fire ability, so I'm gonna use that. Anyways, we go in here, and I believe what we need to do now is we need to ditch fire, if you had it, remember you can ditch candle if you don't. And what we have to do is we have to freeze the snowball guy at exactly the right moment. He slides up there, and that presses the button that allows us to get the last energy sphere. Hey everybody, it's the Mechmaster14, and welcome back to more Kirby's Return to Dreamland. In the last episode, we finished up the last of the stages in, uh, in White Wafers, and we're now ready to fight the boss after we get out of this stage. It's not, we don't have that much longer to go, so we're just going to finish it now so I don't come back later and get the energy sphere again. And also, something that makes no sense about these candles is that if we throw them down, they clearly don't give off a whole lot of light, but as soon as we pick them up, then they give off a ton of light. Like, is Kirby a light source or something? Well, then again, he could transform into a light bulb in some games. So it makes no sense to me. And we don't have that much further to go, so like I said, we're just gonna do this right now. Don't need to worry about getting into the secret area. And now, can we please get a one at our second chance at this? Not even close. I feel like I have to wait a bit longer. I feel like I'm doing this too early. Anyways, that's the level 4 energy sphere is complete. So, now we move on to the boss. And unfortunately, oh, thank you. I was gonna say, unfortunately, we're not going into this with full health, but thank you for that. Uh, who should we go with? Ninja, fighter, or fire? I mean, I think I'm gonna go with ninja since we haven't really used that one a whole lot. Actually, should I? Ah, uh, decisions. Um, I, I think I'm gonna go with Fighter. We, we, we'll have other chances to use Ninja. I'm gonna go with Fighter, because I feel like that's going to be the best option for this boss. Alright, so this guy, Goriath, is basically Donkey Kong's younger brother. Actually... I don't know if it's, his, if it's his younger brother or his weird friend or cousin or whatever, but he's somehow related to Donkey Kong because he's strong and he is weird. Anyways, the reason he's related to Donkey Kong is because he has that supercharged punch that Donkey Kong has to Super Smash Bros. Where he turns up his arm and then... Anyways, Fighter is a very good choice for this because he does so much damage so quickly. Okay, he's already down to halfway. Anyway, he becomes Goku now because, like, just like Goku, his hair turns yellow when he gets super strong. Or, I don't really know because I never really watched Dragon Ball Z. And he also gains more abilities, like shooting Ice Beam. See, he is Goku. Again, I don't really know since I never watched that thing. Anyways, we're also going to be moving out to the little arena as this one has more ice and some pit that we can fall in. He can also shoot himself around like a rocket. Oh shoot, ice! Now is it kind of hard to damage him in this phase because he moves around so fast? Oh yeah, by the way, when he's breaking the stage to the floor, you actually will take damage if you're close to him. Oh, I actually hit him for a second. Right, there we go. So he's actually, he actually is kind of a tough boss. And we fall lower and get the next part to the Lord Star Cutter.
another awesome thing. You've done it! My star card is fun. How is the emblem map? Oh, joyous, glorious day! There's only one missing part left to find. And remember, once the is up and running, I'll take you to, to visit my home. Starting here on your plant, meeting you, somehow, despite an ordeal this has turned into, it's been worth it. Thank you yet again for your help, and for being such a cool dude. Alright, so we went through all that trouble going through six levels, not just five, to get the emblem. Like, what? The emblem? You don't, you don't need a, a... A giant flying ship doesn't need that to fly. Can we have skipped on to... What even, what even is the next part? The mast? Can we have just skipped on to the mast or the sail or whatever? Like, that would have been so much more useful because you don't need the emblem to go anywhere. Anyways... Now we're going to be starting the next level, or, yeah, level. And it made it even worse, we didn't even have to go through that. We could have just skipped right over the mountains because this next area, Nutty Noon, is connected right to Cookie Country. So we could have just gone here and gotten the next part immediately. Like, I'm too mad at this game. Well, let's, I'm not going to let's play this anymore. I'm just kidding, I am. Anyways, Nutty Noon, don't know really what a noon is in terms of location, but we still gotta go here. I don't know if you, is there anything on this side, parasol? Alright, whatever, we're up. Something tells me we're gonna need this pretty soon, so we might as well get it now. Here. And it could look so cute floating down Mary Poppins style. Also, have fun falling to your death sword guy. I believe this guy, I believe this guy gives you cutter and... Oh. Yeah, thank god Kirby can fly because I thought I was going to die right there. Alright, screw it. Parasol sucks. Please don't tell me I'm gonna need Parasol at some point. And also, there's a ton of Cutter guys here, so I'm assuming I'm probably gonna need Cutter for something. Actually, there's a Whip guy right outside this door. You know, I'm taking Whip now. There's a Whip guy right outside this door, so we're probably gonna need Whip. And it's just for a stupid one-off. Alright, is there anything up here that... This area feels so big. Ooh! This guy gives us a new power, Wing! Oh, uh, Wing. Do a shuttle loop, flap fight, and rule the skies. Actually, I just realized it says flap fight and rule the skies, not flap flight. Let your spirit soar as you stray your wings and bask in glory of flight. Alright, so we have some... So we have a brand new power here, Wing. So Wing's basic ability is actually shooting these little feather things in, in a different direction. When you're flying, you can also... Uh, I thought you could do stuff like dive bombing. But apparently you can't. Alright, there we go, you actually have to be dashing. I believe that's everything we can do here. And I guess we're using a parasol now. I mean, I guess it's useful to not be able to get hit by these guys. Also, what's in here? Alright, please tell me that was... Okay, thank god. I thought we missed the energy sphere back in the other room. Thank god this was the this was the first one. Yeah, I really want to kill some of these guys. I mean, if I'm going to be using a lame umbrella as a weapon, I might as well kill with it. 
Yeah, now I feel better. Also, was, I knew there was going to be something up there, but I thought it was going to be more exciting than cake. Also, fear of Cutter, I'm going to go with... Actually, I'm going to go with Cutter. We haven't, we haven't really been using Cutter recently. Actually, that guy back there, the sleeping guy, he actually dropped a power-up as well, but it was super late. Uh, we'll, I'll have, we'll probably have another chance to show sleeping off, so don't worry. Like right now, because I just died. Alright, so I'm actually gonna show off sleep. The sleeping power-up is pretty simple. It just puts you to sleep for a few seconds. And once you're done, you immediately lose the power. Like I said, lamest power-up of all time. It literally does nothing. In fact, it does less than nothing since you're wide open to an attack. Also, by Waddle Dee. Uh, should I get Wing? I really shouldn't have because that means I just died. I'm dying a lot more than I'd like to admit. Also, apparently, I just realized that apparently Kirby's breath can be used to kill stuff because I swear I just killed that cutter guy using my own breath. Okay, okay, so Wing does work in cutting these things down. Also, something else to point out about Wing, you also move much faster in the air, and apparently just you attacking normally is enough to, uh, apparently just your wings are enough to cut stuff and kill people. Also, easiest energy sphere of all time. And screw the star, we don't need it. Yeah, feel the wrath of my mighty wings. I don't need any weapon to kill you, just, to, just the wrath of my mighty wings and jumping. This guy gives us lead, lane. And this guy gives us tornado. Awesome, but I feel like look I should have kept it. Wait, did I miss something? Back here. I swear I missed something. But we're forget it. We're gonna, we're gonna die if we if we try to stay back here. Actually give me the give me the donut. Alright, here's the secret thing. I thought, see, down here, Metamato. Thank you. Also, I feel like there's gonna be some sort of, um, uh, super guy in here, like a super duper boss fight, because, uh, we're not really getting that many energy spheres. Uh, unless there's a secret one right here. Okay, so no sphere doomer fight. Thank you, game. Thank you for proving me to be a liar. Also, give me, give me it's much better than Tornado. I hope there wasn't an energy sphere back there. And now we just lost Wing. Fantastic. Alright, give me, give me a weapon. I want to have at least some power. Even though Wing is much better than Wing. Alright, so let's go kill ourselves and start again. Also, apparently invincibility frames can kill people. Alright, I didn't want to have to do this, but... I want that energy sphere and I'm gonna get it. So yeah, we definitely wanted to be in front of that boulder. Okay, there we go. 
though. I hope we can do another level today. Because I know this has been going on kind of a long time. I mean, especially since we had to get the energy sphere and fight the boss. But I mean, hopefully we should be able to get another one done. How long are we going on for like 10 minutes or so? Yeah, we need to get in here to get the energy sphere. Alright, so 5-1 energy sphere is complete. Here's the goal. Alright, once again, trying for number one. Ah, so close! So much harder than other Kirby goal games because you don't... It's harder to tell when to launch yourself. Alright, let's move on to stage two. I believe this one should have a superpower thing. Also, yeah, another chance to use Ninja, just like I said. Which is good because Ninja is an awesome power. Yeah, screw, screw the sword. I, I have a Ninja and he can, he can like wall jump and stuff. Also, those, like, those blue guys right there with the armored shells, uh, they, they try to... I didn't even know Ninja could do that. Alright, please, wait for me, Ninja. There we go. I'm sorry, it wasn't... We didn't need this stuff, but I just couldn't... I just couldn't move on without knowing what was there. I shouldn't know where everything is because I'm supposed to be the Let's Player and telling you guys where to do everything. But I mean, I, I don't want to miss stuff is what I mean. Okay. I thought, I thought for a second I was going to suicide myself. Also, please don't tell me I needed bomb or something. Well, I'm going to need bomb. Not the bomb power. Also, Kirby has quite the uh, quite the muscles here. There we go. Also, let's get like a pina colada or something. Yay, alcohol! All right, so we are gonna need bomb for something. Sorry, Ninja. And we need a bomb to angle it perfectly to hit that energy sphere thing. Also, yay, that was the first one, so I didn't miss any. Also, more of this stuff. No, I've already did this exact puzzle once. Something tells me I'm gonna need high jump here. Or no, it's a guessing game. Alright, so one, one thing will let us through, the other will spawn enemies. Also, give me Ninja. Ninja's better. Alright, that's that. I'm not gonna risk my life for a burger. Maybe some of you are truly committed to the burger, but I, for one, am not. Alright, I'm getting all these guesses. I, I hope... I feel like there's something I missed. I'm sorry, I need to go back and check. I oh, don't no, ninja. I feel like one of these things is gonna have an energy sphere in it. On second thought, maybe I'm just risking my own life. Yeah, I'm just risking my own life. There's no way any of this has energy spheres. Also, now you can see the true wrath of one of those cat things. And also the true math of that explosion because that was bad. Yeah, that was a waste of time. So this is I think I know where the last energy sphere is. And also I'm gonna pick bomb again because I feel like that's gonna be important at some point. Alright, I believe alright, this is the rock guy.
Don't just blow the hell out of him. power because I know for a fact we're gonna need stone up here in a second. Also we're getting some like lasagna or whatever. And also this one is actually pretty neat. Basically you have to pound in those stumps to so you can actually access the gear. But if you pound in the last stump, like I foolishly did on my first playthrough. Uh then you actually get blocked off from the gear. And once again, when I was playing this with my brother, he actually noticed that and he was super mad at me for denying access to the gear. Or excuse me, energy sphere. And yep, looks like we're gonna need the, the super power. Look at it, it's flare beam. All right, so it's flare beam this time. We gotta hit all those little star generator things. And when all of them are activated, we can access a special area. This time it's just some stars, but other times it's going to be alternate routes and uh, the path to the boss. And also, you can still use it to blow the hell out of them. Oh, by the way, the. Oh, that was cool. It was like a smiley face or something. I was gonna say if if uh, the beam actually dissipates, if the beam dissipates before you uh, touch all the generators, then you are actually gonna have to start over. Like that. I actually turned the beam off myself just to see that would happen. And also, this is definitely an alternate round. And also, I really love the hat that Kirby has when he's in a special power. Like, like the beam hat looks so awesome. That looks like another smiley face. That was cool. Like these, like these two up here were the eyes. The, the single one in the middle was the nose, and then the row down at the bottom was the smile. So, I really like that. I really like all the cute stuff that, that appears in Kirby games. Alright, come on. Alright, let's put the wall back to bed. I don't think that works. Now, whatever. The wall is super slow to begin with. There we go. I'm actually doing this flawlessly right now. Okay, that might have been a mistake. Oh god, I think I'm gonna die. Oh yeah, saved it! That was... You have to admit, that was an awesome save. I mean, I look totally screwed there by pull it off perfectly. Please tell me this is almost over. Thank you. Because I don't know how much longer I could have done that. Now, did you see our rock or parasol? Literally the lamest one. Alright, give me rock. It might have been a mistake to choose rock because I feel like we're going to be spending quite a bit of time trying to open it. Yeah, it was a mistake to choose rock. Ah, oh, we're gonna have to do the whole thing again! Dang it! Ah, oh, I wasn't counting everything as right back to the boss. Alright, screw you, game. I'm just kidding. It, it was my fault for doing so badly. Also, I just realized you could stand up there and shoot the thing.
There we go. Correct. There we go. Save myself again. Screw you, blocking thing. And we should be almost at the end again. Go. And this time, let's choose Parasol. Because, yeah, Parasol is definitely going to be the better option. I mean, I mean Rock, we kind of just screwed ourselves, though. Or we, we're kind of doomed. Also, Parasol does quite a bit of damage. Alright, so maybe I was shooting Parasol too hard to believe. Second thought, maybe I wasn't because we just lost the power. Alright, please put out your little ball thing so we can get a power from that. Come on, this is lame. This is super lame. Shoot your little balls. Oh, I spark. Alright, there we go. I beat him with spark. My one, one of my favorite powers. Yeah, screw stone and parasol. I'm just kidding. I feel like... I feel like I've been treating Parasol a little too harshly. I've, I kept saying like that it's a it's a bad power, but you should never use it. But seeing how much damage you did to the did to the Sphere Doomer, I feel like maybe I've treated it too harshly. Also, I'm very happy that we can commit mass genocide and all these things. And yeah, we touched the goal thing without even touching the ground. Gosh, still not enough for a one. I have faith, I'm going to get a 1 before the, the Let's Play ends. Alright, well, that's all the time we're going to have for this episode. Next time on Kirby's Return to Dreamland, we're going to be moving on to the next levels of Nutty Noon and getting more energy spheres and hopefully less amount of time because this kind of took a long time. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you can, like, comment, and subscribe because that would really help out the channel. And I'll see you guys next time. Mechmaster, 